Welcome back to welcome back to Ghana Fan Tube. Today is just another neighborhood tour. So today where we did? So we did we did a place called um, Litchfield. Uh, Litchfield is in um, um, I think South Staffordshire. Staffordshire. Um, I think it's just a few minutes outside Cannock and also outside uh, Birmingham and also not far from uh, Wolverhampton. So if you know the Overhampton football um, uh, football club, yeah, it's not far from there. This place here is quite a nice place where if you want to drink beer, you want to watch football. But at the moment, I think uh, they're not doing football at the moment because they just finished renovating this pub. Yeah, so uh, down here as well, uh, I think it's a Chinese takeaway. And also, uh, this is a taxi, taxi rank. So if you want to hire a taxi or book a taxi, uh, you can get a taxi down here it's quite a beautiful building right charlie huh nice building very i believe it's listed so yeah so charlie what oh what's up what they going for gh what they go on for gh so today i just thought you know i came here for the weekend i said why not why not create a content for my subbies my subscribers so yeah thank you so much if you haven't subscribed already please do uh, subscribe to uh, this amazing uh, channel so we are in um, a Litchfield, Litchfield at the moment and I'm just walking down to, I think, uh, is it Sanford Street? And in front of me here, this is Walkabout. You can watch a football, you can watch a lot of sports games uh, down here. Let me go back a little bit so I can see uh, Walkabout. So I don't know, can you see this uh, thing here? It's called Dr. Johnson Museum. So Dr. Johnson is actually known for, um, I think, he's a famous uh, a book writer. So yeah that's the junction i'll probably show you uh, uh that place around the corner where is uh, the museum is and down there i think you can get drink you can get a lot of cocktails you can do a lot so i'll probably take you there later so let's walk a little bit let me show you around uh this beautiful place and uh, down here uh, this is where i got my hair cut yesterday uh, these guys were very very nice hi mate you all right you good yeah, so that's where I got my hair cut yesterday and pretty nice place. I think it costs me about £10 to get your beard trim and also get your nose done. Yeah, I mean, not the nose job, just to get your nose done. Yeah, so at the moment, I just do walk on the street. I mean, uh, it's not busy yet because it's Sunday. Uh, all the shops will probably be opening shortly. So, Charlie, yeah, this is be where I did. I did literal. I did leave you. So if you decide to come over, you know, this place is a very nice place to party. Um, like on Saturday night, I mean weekend. Yeah, you can party uh, here. And uh, this place here, I get a lot of my clothes from here. So if you want to uh, also pop in there and get some nice clothes, why not? Let me get back a little bit so I can see the shop. Yeah. And if you're hungry, you know, why not you just pop into Subways and get some food? All right, so let's continue. Let's continue the vlog. Yeah, so I'm just walking. Um, walking on the streets. Yeah, I think it's called Trafalgar Square. I don't know, yeah. And this used to be called Scale, but it's no longer Scales. It's changed to 24 Market Street. Yeah, so at the moment, I'm just uh, walking to where Dr. Johnson's museum is. Uh, Dr. Johnson is known uh, as a, a famous uh, English writer and it's a birthplace of uh, Dr. Johnson. So I'll show you the museum uh, shortly. It's just down there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, that's the museum, I think. I'll get you closer so that I can see uh, this beautiful uh, museum. I think uh, there's a musician or somebody playing uh, very beautiful music. Let me get you closer. Yeah. So this is the museum. Uh, this is the Dr. Johnson Museum. Uh, let me get closer so I can see the museum. There is 
esa misión. It's a beautiful place. So this is uh, Mr. Johnson, right? That's Mr. Johnson, Samuel Johnson. The famous book writer, right? No, he wrote the dictionary. He wrote the, the first oh, dictionary. Oh my God! Oh please! I think he got some, um, he fell out. So he went to Sierra Leone and uh, yeah. when, when he saw his chance, yeah. he, he, came, yes. he came back and <laughs> took power. <laughs> took power. Oh, so he no. was actually living here, I believe. No, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. He might have been in England. Because Probably America because America colonized them. Yeah, America colonized Liberia because yeah. there were freed slaves. Yeah. In the, in the, the 1830s? Yeah, 18th, yeah. That's right, yeah. That's but, amazing. No, but, no, my in-laws, he really liked working in Africa. Yeah. Um, he used to be in charge of the water supply. Oh, wow, for which country? For, for Liberia. Oh, wow, that's so, amazing. So he was then, he used to go up country. So up country was yeah. still equatorial rainforest. Oh my God. Yeah, but no, he, that's but, amazing. But he had an accident. They were building a dam. Yeah. And he was he was supervising the uh, water supply, the water treatment plant yeah. below the dam. Yeah. And somebody left a manhole cover oh uncovered, and he fell 30 feet and broke broke both his ankles. That's that's horrible. That really was horrible. Yeah. But no, no, that, he, he, lo really he loved Africa. He was in Botswana before. Oh that. my! But that's another place I'd love to visit. Yeah, but when they went, my wife went in '74, and the steam train still went down the back at the bottom of the garden. <laughs> Bay, sorry, Bay of Garrett's. Wow. Enormous steam locomotive. You know what steam? Yeah. But, wow, that's amazing. And I, I was jealous. <laughs> and, Why wouldn't you? Yeah, and they drove up to. Um, Victoria Falls. Oh, in Zambia? No, well, yeah, it's Rhodesia, Zambia. Zambia. Yeah, yeah. Z yeah. Well, it's each side, isn't it? Yeah. And, but they, it was, when they went through Rhodesia, yeah. this was at the time when um, Smith had declared UDI. Yeah. And of course it was isolated. Wow. So there was no tourists, but they drove, he drove up. Yeah. They stopped at the Victoria Falls Hotel. Yeah. They yeah, that the, beautiful hotel, they, yeah. They were the only guests. <laughs> at, the, at the time. <laughs> at the time. And so they just stood in by Victoria Falls. I think we've still got a photograph on. Wow. We? But she said it was all this talk about it being the Falls of Thunder. Really is. Really, really is. Yeah. Well, it's, it's one of the most iconic things that, you know, I would love to experience. And, the, and when they went, there was still this, the train isolated on the Victoria Bridge because Zambia wouldn't let it in and <laughs> Rhodesia wouldn't, sorry, wouldn't let it back in. So there was a train. So is it still there? No, no, of course oh, no, not. Of course, of course not. not, no. Wow. But no, but he, 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 loved, he loved Africa. But when he was in Botswana, he used to go, uh, he used to, he was, there was a copper mine at Salibi Pikwi. Yeah. And he was in charge of the water supply there. They built a reservoir and everything. And he used to go up country. I believe that reservoir is still there now. Yeah. He went, went up country and of course he said the biggest thing is that the routes would go across what called dongas, which are dry riverbeds. And they would radio ahead to check that there hadn't been any rain. Because it, if there was a, you know, a flash storm, yeah. An hour or two hours later, so, the donga would be a raging torrent and they wouldn't be able to get back again. So now they kind of create... So, so, so now there's more roads in Botswana, but Botswana has managed to preserve almost all its wildlife. I don't know how they did that, but... They so shoot that. poachers. <laughs> <laughs> they keep doing that, would they? Yeah, they I still do it. Well, yeah, well, because it's in the look. news, so that means they still yeah, do it. Yeah. The thing is, look, you've got to look after wildlife. The, yeah. An elephant can't s stop itself it's, against yeah, a poacher. Yeah, exactly. So, no, you so, know, it's, if it's in the news, that means people still, yeah, they they still, still shoot them. Yeah. yeah. But no, the, then it was... Sarepsi Karma was still the was still the, the president. Pran, the president. The pr the pr is he president or prime minister? Well, I think... Uh, well. President, because they abolished the, 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 they the abolished monarchy, the, the yeah, monarchy. Yeah. So, so he then Listen, stood for election, the one. And, and he was he was the president. But no, thank you. That's uh, anyway. that's an amazing history. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Uh, and I hope you have a wonderful. Sorry. And you know what? Whenever you go to Ghana, yeah. 
Uh, I'm from Tema, uh, which is about five minutes from Accra. Visit Tema and I uh, go to Community One Market. It's very colourful. Okay. Then. Yeah. But I don't think I'll get. I won't get. <laughs> I won't get health insurance. I'm over seventy. Oh, now, you'll so. get health insurance. I promise. <laughs> right. Have a nice Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> you too. All right. That was a nice man telling me a lot about Africa. You know, as African, I don't know a lot about African, but you know, a little bit of history today. So that's it, guys. Uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you today. That's another episode. Just end like that. Thank you very much. That's it. one